Howdy folks, today we are at Deer Lake Park. I wanted to get some shots of the Deer Lake just before I head in to do a project tonight. Drone I bought about two years ago. After I did that test flight on my last vlog, it literally sat in my closet for two years. Due to all government restrictions in and around Vancouver, I wasn't sure where and how I was able to fly it. Now that the laws are a little more clear, I should be able to fly it pretty much anywhere except in and around hospitals and stuff like that. So tonight I've been asked by Ron Simmer to come by his opening of his new art show. The uh, Art of Recycling, Revision of the Art of Recycling is putting on a show tonight at the Deer Lake Public Art Gallery. And so there's going to be a lot of other artists in attendance. And so Ron has asked me to come down to shoot and document his gallery show. Yeah, it's uh, the first project I've done. I uh, didn't do much this summer. A lot of the projects that I had planned and on the go got cancelled. Uh, events got cancelled. Uh, things happened, things came up, you know, life, life happens. And that's just something you have to roll with. But we're getting back into the fall season, and so this is a great way to start it off. And now we have to take a look at this map. Map, oh. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. I have no idea where we are. You are here probably somewhere. Shot Bolt, Center for the Arts. Yeah, you are here. All right, so I'm going up there somewhere. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good one. Ron's a crotchety old but uh, but I love him. You know, it's really good to, he's very inspiring to get to that age and still be into creating stuff. Here I am complaining about uh, not being able to art because the uh, camera died or the, or the uh, sound went out or the microphone's dead or suddenly it rained on the what I wanted to do, but, and then you got Ron who's doing all this stuff. So I think that's, uh, Something you gotta take great inspiration from if somebody of that age, uh, he's still going. Yeah, the art of cycling, let's check it out tonight, see what they have to say. I'm head of revision in the art of recycling because I believe we should all make an effort to uh, save humanity if we can. It's a non-profit society, totally dependent on volunteers, and I really appreciate the help of the volunteers that help put this on. I'm a director of the Vertebrae Arts Council too, as well as involved in several other art groups around town. So there's an election coming up on October 30th, or no, 15th, I think. Please vote and vote for people who support the arts in Vertebrae, which are very, very few. The main one, of course, is Joe Keithy, uh, you may know as Band the OA. Anyway, uh, he's one of the few forces on City Council that actually believes in the supporting the arts. So, anyway, thanks very much. Uh, have some more drinks, and, and uh, I hope to see some of you turn out to help us volunteer and put on more good events. tons of junk lying around my yard I'd like to make into robots but I never seem to get around to it. I guess the key is to make them small robots so they carry them in the suitcase rather than run a, run a truck crate move. They're very popular. Um, I make robots out of scrap bits of metal and wood. They just stick stuff to stuff. I used to name them but then I got too attached and so I stopped naming them because then I would sell one and it would go away and I'd be sad. I just want to make more of these. They're, they're fun. Like I, I used to make them business presents right. and then uh, my partner's sister who is an incredible ceramic artist pointed out that people would like them and, <laughs> and that I should actually put them out there.
This is Ralph. Ralph has been around, around the world many times. He's an he's international traveler. He's worked all out for the, for the federal government all over the earth, I guess. So he's got lots of stories to tell about his adventures. So you just ask him. Basically, as a grandfather, I was telling the same stories to my grandchildren that I told to my children, and the characters in the books were annoyingly common. So I basically created a body of art where I cut their heads off and stuck them on a wall. These are the result of my young granddaughters mixing paint to paint in their style, but leaving enough paint behind for me to play with their colors. Basically, an old guy using Disney princess colors and having fun doing it. Yeah, I love all the different textures and colors you get with the different fabrics, so it's just like putting them all together in a fun small lap. Fun. Some people think they look like monsters, but I just think they make people happy. My version of a, a satellite, <laughs> real early tech. It is a balloon filled with hydrogen and a guy in a wooden barrel and a telescope. I played with steampunk. I loved the world when muscle power had ended, but the only real mechanical power you made by steam. And this is a pirate balloon. It's an older piece, one of my first ones. Art is just... It's how I passed my life, and it was what kept me sane during COVID. It was just, just pouring all my energy and time into the fact that I wasn't going anywhere, I wasn't going to do anything, so do something. And that something turned out to be a gigantic body of art that I created. The rough will go on for days if you ask He keeps questions. asking questions. Yeah. Obviously got no tape running. Pretty successful show, I think. A lot of good friends and sh showed up and a lot, of, a lot of artists had a good time. So it's a, it was a nice little show, you know. Well, it's great. We, we had people turn out and met a lot of new people and made old, met old friends and stuff like this. And it's, it's always, I think, our, our social art events like this are wonderful, you know. You, just, you need to have more of them. So that was Ron's show. Art shows are a mixed bag. You never know what you're gonna get. Even if it doesn't tickle your own pickle, there is usually something there for everybody to enjoy. I saw a lot of creative work tonight. It was a lot of driven artists, a lot of fun and interactive pieces that everybody could play with and enjoy. So it was a very visceral as well as visual experience. And there was uh, artists of all ages, and it was really fun to rub elbows with artists and creative people from different walks of life to understand their processes, their motivations, and what makes them tick, and why they do the projects the way they do. The techniques won't resonate with you, but the motivation and the drive behind them will. It will make you a better artist. It'll make you more creative. It'll help unlock your own creativity by seeing the work of others. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up there and I'll see you on the other side.